now let us discuss about csma cd protocol uh, csma cd stands for carrier sense multiple access with collision detection so here carrier means a communication channel so that is a transmission medium or this can also be called as channel so sensing means lesioning multiple access means here also we will have uh, a shared medium uh, a transmission channel so where we have uh, uh, multiple devices which are connected over this uh, shared channel so let us assume that we have uh, three devices such as a b and c connected over this channel so uh, ma stands for multiple access so that means multiple users can access the corresponding shared medium so here we can call these as devices or stations or nodes or users also okay so next we have collision detection so we will discuss uh, about this point later uh, let us assume that here uh, our aim is uh, a wants to send a frame to the c as well as c wants to send a frame to the a here csma cd is nothing but uh, a random access protocol random access protocol means any device can send data at any time okay so here uh, for sending data to the c first the station this device has to sense the carrier has to sense the carrier so this station a station has to listen the carrier okay uh, if that carrier is busy if that carrier is busy then the station has to wait until this carrier will become idle so here the carrier will have two states busy idle so if the carrier is busy then the station has to wait until the carrier will becomes idle so how it can check so it won't checks the entire communication line so here station a will checks only this connection point station b will checks only this point station c will checks this point so let us assume that uh, uh, now this channel is uh, idle so what will happen now station a can transmit a frame to the c station c so let us assume that c uh, uh, c also wants to send data to a so c checks its channel now so it won't checks the entire transmission medium the entire channel it will checks only this point only so let us assume that here the channel is id so what will happen now c can also transmits the data so now here there is a long distance so here there is a long propagation delay propagation delay means uh, if we have longer distance uh, then we will be have some delay okay so let us assume that during the middle of the transmission during the middle of the transmission so these two frames collide with each other so here we got the collision so yet b we got the collision so for transmitting the uh, data so b station b will also sense the carrier so whenever b identifies that there is a collision then b will send that uh, that uh, collision signal that collision signal can also be called as jamming signal collision or jamming signal so whenever b senses the carrier it comes to know that there is a collision here so b station b will sense collision signal or jamming signal to both the parties so it will sense the collision signal to a as well as collision signal to the c so whenever a receives the collision signal then how it will knows that that uh, uh, that its packet is collided its frame is collided so let us assume that here the frame capacity is 10 bits let us assume that here this frame capacity is uh, a is sending some frame so let us assume that that frame capacity is only 10 bits so till now assumes that only 3 bits have been sent so there are seven more bits to transmit so when station a is in the process of transmitting that frame in that situation whenever a receives the collision or jamming signal 
it can easily determines that uh, uh, that uh, frame belongs to uh, its frame or not why because the station a has to send seven more bits of the corresponding frame so it can easily detects that so let us assume that this frame this frame this collided frame belongs to this station only so whenever it identifies that whenever it detects that that collision is for s frame only then it simply aborts it simply terminates it simply stops sending remaining seven bits of the frame after a random period of time after a random period of time so a will send its frame once again to the c so in this way collision detection will be done so here we don't have any acknowledgements so if you take simplex protocol stop and wait protocol and uh, the sliding window protocol we will have some acknowledgements so sender sends a frame to the receiver receiver receives the frame and provides acknowledgement to the sender but here in csma cd we don't have any acknowledgements so it is the responsibility of the sender to de to detect the collision whenever it receives the collision signal then what it will do it will stops uh, it will stop sending the seven more bits okay so it will wait for a random period of time and after that it will retransmits the same frame once again so now let's see how it will be done so this is nothing but transmission period for a frame so let us assume that station a has transmitted a frame so this is the transmission time for this frame for this frame at a time t not so let us assume that station a receives collision signal collision signal so then what will happen after receiving the collision signal it will waits for a random period of time a back off time random period of time can also be called as back off time okay so that random period of time waiting or back off time waiting is called as contention period so contention period is nothing but waiting period okay so after waiting for a random period of time so again what station a will do station a will retransmits the same frame once again the same frame once again let us assume that at this time at this time let it be, let it be t1 at t1 station a received some collision signal so whenever it receives the collision signal then it has to wait for a random period of time so that is nothing but contentional start so after that period is over again station a will retransmits the frame now let us assume that uh, this communication channel is free let this channel is let the complete communication channel is free so this is called as ideal period so ideal period means the channel is free so after that what will happen station a will sense the carrier and again it will retransmits the frame and again it will starts another frame or or if there are any if there is any collisions it will retransmits the frame okay so likewise every frame will require some transmission period contention period okay a cycle of uh, transmission and uh, contention period so this is about csma cd protocol